island is mine. I will bring terror to every corner. Archie's over, Montague. Yeah, time to put this bad guy back in his box. You can't stop me, Turtles. For a villain, you sure are slow. Ever heard of a gym? Looks like you're out of your league, Montague. Yeah, why don't you pick on someone your own speed? Like a snail. Next time, think twice before messing with our island. And stay out of the sewers. That's our turf. Let's head back. We've got more training to do. Another day, another baddie beaten by the awesome duo. <laughs> guys, guys, you won't believe what just went down. We totally crashed Montague's party at the train station. Montague, that big lug, nice. Did you leave any bad guys for me? Sounds like you two had quite the adventure. Details now! Yeah, about that. We might have been a bit too public with our heroics. Public schmublick. We're heroes, bro. The people loved us. That's what I'm talking about. Turtles in the spotlight. But Leo's got a point. If we're seen, it could bring all sorts of trouble to our doorstep. Exactly. We've always operated from the shadows for a reason. Being seen could put us all at risk. But think about it. We could be like the cool mystery heroes everyone talks about. Have you seen the green blur of justice? Green blur of justice? Seriously, Mikey? <laughs> There's a potential benefit, though. More visibility could mean more opportunities to help people. That's true, but it's a big step. We've got to think about how this changes our operations. I can see it now. Interviews, action figures, maybe even our own theme song. Oh, great. Just what we need. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the musical. I'd watch it, but seriously, we need to consider the pros and cons. It's not just about fame and pizza deals. Let's take some time to think it over. We don't want to rush into this. But think of the pizza, Leo. The glorious pizza. Yeah, we came prepared for a showdown. What gives? You just missed it. Montague was here, but he got chased off. Chased off? By who? You're not going to believe this. Witnesses say two human-sized ninja turtles took him down. Ninja turtles? Like, actual turtles? Yeah, and they were skilled. Montague didn't stand a chance. This is incredible. Ninja turtles? Here? We've got to meet these guys. Yeah. Anyone who can take down Montague is worth getting to know. But where do we even start looking? No idea. They disappeared as quickly as they came, but they've definitely got people talking. Well, we're going to find them. They sound like just the kind of allies we need. Agreed. Let's ask around, see if anyone else saw where they went. Man, it feels great to be out in the open like this. No more sneaking around for pizza. Yeah, enjoying pizza in broad daylight. This is the life. Wow, are you guys like real ninja turtles? That's so cool. The coolest you'll ever meet. Watch this. And check this out. Wow, you guys are amazing. I'm having a party later. You should totally come. We'd love to. A party with real people, that's a first for us. It's a date then. Can't wait to see you there.
you see that? We just got invited to a party by a real girl. I know, right? This new life in the open is awesome. People, parties, and plenty of pizza. Wow, you guys are the Ninja Turtles everyone's talking about. You're even cooler in person. That's us, heroes in a half shell at your service. And you must be Peely the talking banana, right? We've heard about you too. Yeah, that's me. I can't believe I'm meeting actual talking Ninja Turtles. This is bananas. Bananas, huh? I see what you did there. We're here to help keep the island safe. Montague and any other baddies don't stand a chance against us. That's awesome. I could really use your help. There's a lot of trouble brewing on the island. Just point us in the right direction and we'll take care of it. And I'd love to meet the rest of your crew. You guys must be an incredible team. Absolutely. Let's head back to our base and introduce you to Leonardo and Michelangelo. Dude, can you believe this? Parties, sunsets, and us. It's like living in a dream. Yeah, it's incredible. Who knew being out in the open could be this amazing? Hey, you guys are the talking turtles everyone's been talking about, right? Want to dance? Dance? With you? We'd be honored. Watch out, though. My moves are as wild as my nunchaku skills. And they say I'm the serious one. Wait till you see my dance moves. You guys are hilarious. And such great dancers, too. It's all in the shell. Adds an extra spin to the twist. I'm having a party later tonight. You guys should totally come. It's going to be epic. She's something else, a real party spirit. Yeah, totally rad. So, who's gonna ask her out at the party? You or me? Let's see who wins her over with their charm. May the best turtle win. It's on, Leo. May the funniest turtle win her heart. I need you to keep an eye on those turtles. Find out where they're hiding. I have a plan to teach them a lesson they won't forget. Understood, sir. I'll track them down, find their base. Once you locate it, we strike when they're away. I want their hideout blown to smithereens. That should send a clear message. Yes, sir. I'll be discreet. They won't know we're onto them. Good. Those turtles think they can interfere with my plans. They have no idea who they're dealing with. They won't see it coming. I'll report back as soon as I have the location. Enjoy your freedom while it lasts, Turtles. Your days of peace are numbered. Boss, I've got the location. They just went into their base. It's in the sewers. Excellent work. Stay out of sight. We'll wait for the perfect moment to strike. I want them out of the base when we hit it. Understood. I'll keep an eye out and let you know when they leave. Perfect. It's time to end this little game of theirs. Once their base is gone, they'll have nowhere to hide. You guys should have seen the nightclub. We met this girl, May, and she's totally rad. Sounds like you had a blast. We met someone too, April. She's invited us to a party later tonight. And guess what? We ran into Peely and Jonesy today. Those guys are something else. It's been a day of making new friends, it seems. We're all getting out more, and it feels great. Wait a minute. We're all invited to the same party. This is gonna be epic. Party with the new crew and our new friends? Count me in. It'll be good for us getting to know everyone making allies. Plus, it's a party, so there's that. Right. Let's head out and have some fun. 
We've earned it, but let's stay alert. You never know what might happen. Peter, this car is going to explode. We need a plan now. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Maybe we could... No, that's crazy. What's the matter, boys? Run out of clever ideas, it's over. You wish, Montague! You haven't seen the last of us! Peter, I think we're out of options here. We're going to... Did you see that? She's like some kind of superhero. Superhero? She's like a legend come to life. We gotta find out who she is. Man, she just came out of nowhere and saved our skins. Yeah, and she does it with style. We need to find her, thank her properly. Thank her? We need to recruit her. With her on our side, we'd be unstoppable. Recruit her? How about we ask her out for dinner first? You know, as a thank you? Dinner? Yeah, right. Like she'd go out with a couple of agents like us. Hey, a guy can dream, can he? Come on, let's get out of here before Montague decides to come back for round two. You've got to help us. We're looking for the superhero who swooped in yesterday. Yeah, she was amazing. Any clues on her identity? You two chasing a superhero now? She's probably too busy saving the world to notice you guys. Come on, Oscar. Any info would help. Maybe there's something in your databases? All right, all right. She's known as Spider-Gwen, but she's not the dating type. Still, if you're so keen, try the pizza joint. Thanks, Oscar. We owe you one. Gwen is something else. Peely, we're on a mission to find Spider-Gwen. Oscar said she hangs out here. Spider-Gwen, huh? She does come here, but she's not into dating. Just fighting villains. But there's a chance, right? Where can we find her now? She likes the pizza joint down the street. Always there after her hero stuff. This could be it, Peter. We might actually meet her. To the pizza joint, then. Adventure awaits. Hey, we just wanted to thank you for earlier, you know, for saving our skins. Yeah, you were like a superhero out there. By the way, I'm Jonesy. And I'm Peter. You probably heard of me. I actually handled most of those goons myself. Please, I was the one who did the heavy lifting. You guys are unbelievable. I saved you and this is how you thank me? Wait, we didn't mean to... Great job, Peter. She was clearly impressed. Me? You were the one bragging. <laughs> Jonesy, stay on her tail. We've got to explain ourselves. I'm trying, but she's fast. Watch out for that lamppost. Enough. Your reckless driving could have hurt someone. This isn't a game, guys. Great, now she's really mad. Thanks a lot. Me? You're the one who almost hit that truck. Peter, you're about as smooth as sandpaper. I mean, Gwen needs someone with finesse, like me. Finesse? The only thing you finesse is tripping over your own feet. Gwen needs humor, 
someone to make her laugh, which is obviously my specialty. Humor? Your jokes are older than my grandma's couch. I've got charm, real charm, not whatever that is you're trying. Charm? If by charm you mean boring her to sleep, then yeah, you've got loads of it. You two are impossible. Is this how you guys solve everything? By arguing like kids? Gwen, it's just that we both... Well, we really like you. Yeah, what he said. You kind of swept us off our feet. Okay, here's what we'll do. You both get one date each. Show me who you really are, and then I'll decide. You got it, Gwen. I promise you an adventure like no other. And I'll bring the fun and laughter. Prepare for the best date of your life. All right, I'm holding you to that. May the best man win. So why did the tomato turn red? Because it saw the salad dressing. And what do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. Peter, you don't have to try so hard. Just be yourself. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Gwen. I don't know what's happening. Peter, I appreciate the effort, but this, this isn't working out. I think it's best I leave for my date with Jonesy. Well, that went down like a lead balloon. Maybe comedy isn't my strong suit after all. Gwen, you're gonna love this spot. It's perfect for a quiet, romantic evening. It's really beautiful here, Jonesy, but I'm getting a little hungry. Don't worry, I've got us covered. I'll start a fire and we can roast some marshmallows. That sounds lovely. This will get the fire going in no time. Oh no, Gwen. I didn't mean for this to happen. Jonesy, be careful. This is getting dangerous. I'm trying, I'm trying. This was supposed to be romantic, not a disaster. This is too much, Jonesy. I think it's best if I leave now. Man, I thought I could make Gwen laugh, but I just ended up making a fool of myself. You're not alone. I accidentally set the woods on fire. Definitely not my finest moment. Let's just agree, no more fighting over girls, okay? We're better as a team. Deal. Teammates for life. Glad to see you two are back on track. But we've got bigger problems. Montague's planning to hit a bank. We've got his location. Let's do this. Time to stop Montague once and for all. Yeah, let's show him what we're made of. I'm on it. This train won't know what hit it. Peter, remember, this is a stealth mission. No screw-ups. Stealth, right? Like the time I tried to sneak into a chicken fight. Nice landing, Peter. Now let's find that secret cargo. Okay, Peter, you can do this, just like in the movies. I'm Peter Griffin, secret agent, man. Are you serious? As serious as a chicken fight on a Tuesday. Oops, well, that worked. Two down, one to go. This is easier than I thought. You think you can stop me, Mr. Griffin? You are nothing but a fat slob. I faced worse. Ever met my neighbor, Joe? This is like trying to argue with Lois. Oscar, the bad guy, got away. And I didn't even get to use my one-liners.
Oscar, that Montague guy gave me the slip. My mission was a bust. Peter, don't worry. We're going to introduce you to a new team. They'll help us catch Montague. A team? Like in the movies? Do I get a cool code name? We can work on the code name. The team is made up of the best agents we have. You won't be alone in this. That sounds awesome. But uh, do they know about my special skills? They're aware of your unique attributes, Peter. They're looking forward to working with you. So who are these mystery teammates? Are we talking ninjas, super spies, or maybe even a talking dog? Because I have experience with that last one. Not exactly. They're skilled agents, each with their own strengths. You'll meet them soon enough. All right, I'm ready. Peter Griffin, secret agent man, is on the case. Montague won't know what hit him. Good spirit, Peter. Let's head to the underground base to meet Agent Jonesy. Lead the way, boss. This is gonna be like a buddy cop movie, except with more buddies and less cop. Welcome to our little tech haven, Peter. I'm Jonesy, your go-to guy for all things gadgetry. Wow, this place is like a super spy's dream. Do you have those pens that turn into helicopters? Not exactly, but I've got some gear here that's sure to help you against Montague. I'll leave you in Jonesy's capable hands. I need to head back to base and track down Montague's location. This stuff is amazing. What does this button do? Whoa, careful with that. That's the mini grenade launcher. Let me give you a quick rundown on how to use these safely. Mini SMG machine gun. Cool. Do I get a jetpack too? No jetpacks, but I've got something even better. Check out the stealth sniper. Stealthy and stylish. I like it. So, who's this next member of the team I'm meeting? You'll meet Hope next. She's our tactical expert and quite the sharpshooter. She'll help you fine-tune those combat skills. Hope? Huh. With a name like that, she sounds tough. I can't wait to meet her. Let's get you ready for your next mission. Glad you could make it, Peter. Hop in. We've got some ground to cover. So, you're going to turn me into an assassin? I hope there's not a test at the end. I'm not great with those. Hope's the best in the business, Peter. You're in good hands. First things first, Peter. Being an assassin is about precision and patience. You think you can handle that? Precision and patience? I once waited two hours for a hot dog at a baseball game. I've got this. All right. See that guard? I want you to take a shot. Remember, breathe and focus. Here goes nothing. Whoa, nice shot. You're a natural, Peter. I hit it? I hit it. Maybe I do have a knack for this. Not bad at all. With a bit more training, you'll be a formidable force against Montague. Does this mean I get a cool assassin nickname? How about the Griffin? Great job, Peter, but we should head back. Oscar might have found Montague's location by now. Remember, Peter, patience and precision. Keep practicing. Thanks, Hope. I won't let you down. The Griffin is ready for action. Oscar, you should have seen me out there. I was like, pow! Pow! Right on target! He's not kidding, Oscar. Peter's got some real talent. 
good to hear, Peter. We need all the skills we can muster for what's coming. So what's the plan, boss? When do I get to show Montague the Griffin in action? I've located Montague's base. It's hidden by the coast and heavily guarded. This won't be easy. We're ready for anything, Oscar. Just say the word. The plan is to strike at night. Stealth is key. You'll need to be well armed for this. Heavily guarded, you say? Sounds like my kind of party. Gear up from the vault. Choose your weapons carefully. This mission is critical. Don't worry, Oscar. The Griffin is about to take flight. Let's do this, Peter. Montague won't know what hit him. Be careful out there. This is just the beginning of a much bigger battle. Peely's got to be around here somewhere. Those society goons can't hide him forever. Patience, Jonesy. Peely's smart. He'll leave us a trail. Jonesy, Peter, I've got news. Peely was seen at the train station. The train? We need to catch it before it's too late. Agreed. Every second counts now. What should I do? Stay here. Gather more intel. We'll handle the train. Let's roll, Peter. Peely's counting on us. Be careful, you two. Jonesy, keep your eyes on the road. We can't afford any mistakes. Don't worry, Peter. I won't let Peely down. Not on my watch. This is it, Peter. Ready? Let's do this. Check every compartment. Peely could be anywhere. No sign of him here. There. That looks like Peely. After him! Whoa, dudes! Why the dramatic entrance? We thought you were Peely. Why'd you jump? Well, I kind of didn't buy a ticket. Saw you guys in panic. A ticketless ride? That's why we jumped? Only you, Lil Split. Only you. Guess I owe you a ticket, huh? Let's focus, Jonesy. Peely's still out there. Right. Back to the mission. No more jumping off bridges for us. Oscar, you've seen Peely around here? Sir Oscar to you. And yes, the Banana Man was here. Lead the way, Sir Oscar. Behold the hiding place of Peely. Hey, can you keep it down? I'm on a winning streak. This isn't Peely. Oscar, what's this about? I may have exaggerated a bit, but hey, Tomato Head's cool too, right? We don't have time for games. We need help to find Peely. Well, I heard someone saw him practicing his sword play at fencing fields. Okay, Peter, you head to fencing fields and I'll head to the docks. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Nisha. It's super important. About my pal, Peely. This area is off limits. Whoa, whoa. I come in peace. Just need some info. Can we talk this out? I'm really not in the mood for a fencing match. You'll have to get past me first. I didn't sign up for a duel today.
What's all this commotion about? Ah, Nisha. Just the person I wanted to see. I'm searching for Peely. Heard you might know his whereabouts. He's clearly desperate. I could use this to my advantage. Peely, you say? Last I heard, he was up on the tallest mountain, playing a piano, believe it or not. A piano? On a mountain? That's oddly specific and slightly unbelievable. Yes, it's true. He's quite the musician. You better hurry. He could leave any moment. All right. I'll check it out. A piano on a mountain. What's next? A DJ booth in an abandoned factory? Why did it have to be a mountain? Why not a nice flat field? Hey there, little human. What brings you to my chilly domain? Ah, a talking bear. Just my luck. Have you seen a banana playing a piano up here? A banana on a piano? That's the best joke I've heard in ages. I'm serious. A friend told me about it. Well, I did hear some odd tunes recently. Might as well be your piano playing banana. You're not messing with me, are you? Why would I? It's not every day I get to guide a human to a musical fruit. This is the weirdest day of my life, and I've had some doozies. Good luck, and if you find that banana, ask him to play Fur Elise for me. If this turns out to be a wild goose chase, I'm never listening to Nisha again. Finally! But, wait, who are you? Where's Peely? Whoa, whoa. Easy there, big guy. I'm just a banana trying to keep warm. Stop shooting. I'm looking for a friend, not trouble. Sorry, I'm a bit jumpy. This place does things to you. Name's Polar, and you are? Peter Griffin. I was told a banana was playing piano here. I don't know any Peely. Sorry I couldn't be more help. It's lonely up here, you know. Well, back to square one. Thanks anyway, Polar. If you see that Polar Bear, tell him to stop leaving snow in my doorway. Sure thing. If I ever climb this mountain again, it'll be too soon. Okay, Jonesy. Eyes peeled for Peely. Wait, is that... Peely, I finally found you! Sorry, man. I'm not the Peely you're looking for. Another dead end. This is getting frustrating. Why the long face? Join me on the dance floor. Sure, why not? I could use a break. She's incredible, but I can't lose focus on Peely. Let's team up, Jonesy. I'll do whatever I can. Thanks, Hope. I could really use the help. So, Peter, this feels like chasing shadows. We've scoured half the island. Tell me about it. Climbed the tallest mountain, and all I got was frostbite and a chat with a paranoid frozen banana. At least we're getting our steps in. What's our next move? Well, I've been thinking. Maybe we're looking at this all wrong. What if Montague's hiding Peely in plain sight? You mean like under our noses? Exactly. Let's think like Montague. Where would he hide something valuable? Somewhere nobody would think to look. The old caves? Bingo. But first we fuel up. No heroics on an empty stomach. Right. So, night assault on the caves it is. After pizza. And hey, maybe we'll find more than just Peely. Could be a treasure trove of Montague's secrets. Now you're talking. Let's eat up and then take down that villain once and for all. And hopefully, we find Peely safe and sound. Ready to be a hero, Jonesy? Born ready, Peter. Let's do this. Move in! Oscar's mansion won't hold us back. Keep pressing forward. I want every inch of this place under our control. Hold the line. 
protect the mansion at all costs. Oscar, you always did know how to throw a good party. Idiot's your last. Sir, the mansion is under attack. Montague's forces have breached our defenses. I'm aware. Rally our men. We need to push them back. But, sir, there are too many of them. Then we fight harder. This is our ground. I won't let Montague take what's ours. Understood, sir. We'll hold them off as long as we can. And I'll join the front lines. Montague wants a fight. He'll get one. Let's show them the might of Oscar's mansion. Time to show these intruders they picked the wrong mansion. Hey, you're not supposed to... Ah! One down. Two down. There can't be much more. Did Montague send the best he's got? I'm almost disappointed. Hey, Oscar, ready to surrender your fancy mansion? I was thinking you could use it. Enough talk! Let's take him down! One down. Who's next? You'll pay for this! It's going to take more than that to rattle these old bones. Impressive, Oscar. But I'll be back with a plan you won't see coming. Jonesy, my mansion, and it's been attacked. It's chaos out there. What happened? Any idea who's behind this? I have my suspicions. It's got Montague written all over it. That guy's trouble. We need a plan. What are you thinking? We need intel, fast. I was thinking of Valeria at the Grand Glacier Hotel. She knows Montague's moves. Valeria, huh? She's sharp. Could have the lead we need. Exactly. I'm thinking we pay her a visit. See what she knows about Montague's plans. Let's do it. But be careful, Oscar. Montague is dangerous and unpredictable. Danger's my middle name, Jonesy. Let's gear up and head out. I'm with you. Let's uncover what Montague's up to and put a stop to his game. Valeria, we have serious matters to discuss. It's about Montague. Montague. The name rings a bell, but that's about it. What's your concern? Come on, Valeria. We're not here for pleasantries. Montague's attack on Oscar's mansion can't be a coincidence. You know him, don't you? Listen, I just run this hotel. I don't keep tabs on every guest's acquaintances. Montague hasn't been here, not that I recall. We had hoped you'd be more cooperative. Thanks anyway, Valeria. Montague, it's me. Oscar and Jonesy just left. They suspect your involvement. Be careful. Good work, Valeria. Keep your eyes open. I'll set up a little surprise for our friends. Valeria seems shifty. Think she's hiding something? Definitely. Keep an eye out. Put your foot to the floor, Oscar! 
Jonesy, hold on. That was too close. Montague's guards are getting bolder. We need more intel fast. Let's head to the yacht. Peter, we've got a problem. Montague's after us. And here I thought today couldn't get more entertaining. Listen, Peter, you're our last lead. Where's Montague? What do I look like? The island's information booth? This isn't a joke. People are in danger. All right, all right. The word is Montague's hiding in some fancy villa down south. But good luck getting past his army of goons. An army? Great. Just what we needed. Don't thank me yet. Montague's not the type to sit around. He's planning something big, I hear. We appreciate the intel. Sure, sure. Now, if you don't mind, I was in the middle of my me time. South it is. Let's hope Peter's right about this. With Montague, expect the unexpected. This is our chance to find out his plans. Montague is leaving. Let's search for any clues. He must have left something behind. Nothing. Not a single clue. Then let's leave him a message he can't ignore. That'll get his attention. Let's see how he likes coming home to this. 